Hi guys, Asmo here and in this video I want to share my money making strategy that I used at the leak start that can be done by pretty much any mapping character. Any mapping character that when you're playing like a decent build, not something like crazy off meta random thing that doesn't work. But if you're playing just like a normal decent build, you can do this strategy. And with this strategy, I got myself a headhunter in like three days of really hard farming. I played like six to eight hours and then traded a bunch and managed to get my headhunter. Hunter. I had a pretty slow leak start. I had to deal with some issues at the f in the first day with like loot filters and stuff. And then after that, I had to I could play like three days more or less, like on and off. I played like three days. Um, so this was like my without the headhunter belt was like my like day three character pretty much. And then after that, I had to take a couple of days of break. And then I decided, okay, I'm not gonna be developing this character anymore. I'm gonna actually go for a headhunter and switch to another power farmer, uh, like super map juicer build. That's gonna be uh, something that I'm gonna talk about in the next videos, but uh, I wanted to farm headhunter. That was the goal with the character that I had. I think I still have like the old belt uh, somewhere here, slap, there we go. Like this was the old belt. So like nothing special, just a rare I found with like life and res, like life and res. The character had like six link carcass jack, um, curse on hit ring, dot multi on quiver, and that's it. There's like also like dot multi plus one to chaos gems, but nothing else on this. This could be like harvest crafted to an insane um, amulet, but I was not bothering doing that. This was my last upgrade just to get something that I don't feel uh, weird, like slapping hardened scars on because it requires golden oil. But to the strategy, right? So this strategy um, has to do with uh, the top right region. This is one of the regions that uh, is very popular for among uh, people who are doing really, really well at the leak start. There are other strategies such as the harvest crafting and harvest farming in the top left Hayward Hamlet. There is also the legion farming in the bottom left in the new vestir. There is also the um diplomatic escort the harby farming that people were doing in valdo's rest those are like the notable ones but for me for a character that's just good at like speed mapping what i wanted to do is just like simple mapping straightforward just grind that get the currency and do something that has pretty good returns so in Lex Ajoris, there are some really, really good things that I'm going to later also farm this region for, for a little bit of a different reason. But for now, I wanted to farm this region because it has something like this, the Compulsive Hoarder, right? So it gives you a 15% chance to generate three additional reward types if you're doing Delirium in the map. And you can guarantee doing delirium in the map if you put at least one delirium orbs. So my strategy was to map in this region, do the best map possible. So that would be probably the Burial Chambers, which is a natural T16. You can sustain maps very, very easily. I can talk about that in a second as well. So I was doing pretty much only Burial Chambers in this region with four sextants with four scarabs and just with one delirium orb. And that's it. That's what I was running. Uh, I was using uh, my burial chambers with um, Harby Scarab, like Rusted Harbinger Scarab, Rusted Elder Scarab, Rusted Divination Scarab, and Rusted Breach Scarab. Those are the four that I was using. Uh, I did not drop any Doctors, I did not drop any more expensive like things than like just an Exalt drop. I dropped a couple of Cortex maps, but that was something, the currency that I spent on this character before to like 6 link my stuff. So I didn't drop anything special really, right? Like the, the biggest drops were like around 1x, right? Uh, so it, it's just very, very, very consistent income. So what do you do? You put these four um, scarabs with your map. Uh, of course, you'll chisel your map. You get it. Let me just grab one and show you just by example. I have 50 of them, right? I'm not even trying to sustain them. Uh, do I have some delirium? Yes, we do. So this is what I'm doing basically, right? I'm putting a delirium on it. I'm putting um, like at least 75% quantity usually. Uh, like if it's like lower than 75, I maybe chaos it a couple times again. I don't care about the other like map mods. What is it on the map? Because this build can run, run any map mods. So I don't care about that. It's just like quality, alk. If it's really bad, maybe reroll. Um, one delirium orb at least, right? This build can run like up to 60%. I run like 60%, but it doesn't really... It's not really worth it at this moment if you're not really investing heavily into the map because delirium orbs are very, very expensive right now. Therefore, like 
10 C uh, each if you're not running like the horrible ones, right? And you don't really want to run the horrible ones. You want to run like the currency one, maybe uh, the fossil, maybe the uh, metamorph, right? Those are like the cheaper ones that you can get under 10 C, but that still will give you some good things like catalysts, fossils and currency, right? Those are really good ones that are not very expensive. So that's what I would probably recommend. And you just slap one of them and then 15% of the time, instead of two uh, rewards, because even slapping one orb gives you two rewards. Um, so again, better returns per orb if you do just one. Um, and then you get 15% chance to generate three additional rewards. So every now and then you'll see like extra rewards and then killing the monsters will grant you like extra rewards from, from whatever randomly spawned. Other than that, in this region, early on, I was running pre pre prosecutory delusion, uh, which gives you bigger chances to spawn unique bosses and also the unique cluster jewels from bosses. However, the unique cluster jewels went down in price heavily. This was something that was really good early on. Right now, I would probably actually recommend doing the uh, Prosperous Promise. This spawns extra uh, Perandus chest in a map, which is guarded by the Perandus monsters, which basically means more monsters in your map guaranteed. So that means also higher rewards, right, on the Delirium. So we go for the Compulsive Hoarder, that's what we're focusing on, that's the whole strategy pretty much. Um, Prosperous Promise, we get extra Metamorph in a map from the Escaped Experiment, and then we also stack the Alva missions from time and again. This is extremely powerful. Alva missions are super, super powerful. You can spend them now, you can save them for later. If you want to make currency faster, just use them. You're going to uh, use them late. You're going to like gain them later on anyway. So I definitely recommend these uh five nodes like compulsive hoarder with pathological pathological will also grant you like maps with delirium right i have a bunch of maps that have like extra layers of delirium every now and then you're gonna drop actually just burial chambers with extra delirium layers so it's very 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 good so that way you're gonna have a lot of returns from the maps and what you're gonna be selling is pretty much all maps like i sell all the maps that aren't burial chambers like basically everything that isn't burial chambers that i don't need for like bonus or something like that i just sell it i just sell all of them and i just have like a session where i put all the maps here i put it to like 6c okay people are responding when they stop responding i put it to 5c then i get spammed i sell as many as i can and then i get like few more eggs and that's it headhunter also right now is very very cheap compared to normally like 72 exalted 73 exalted i paid 73 for mine that's very very cheap actually considering the price of exalt is only 80 chaos so it's very very doable to farm it solo in like few days like depending on how much you play if you're playing like most of like all day then you can get it in like three days doing this strategy the other uh, source of income that you're gonna have is going to be the simulacrum splinters so selling these simulacrums for 1.5 up to 2x depending on the market currently is gonna bring you some extra income you're gonna also do rituals rituals spawn so many more monsters that it increases the rewards you're getting and also rituals have really good uh, rewards and i recommend if you look at the first page of the ritual usually you're gonna have like five to ten k uh like five to ten k favor right if you get like on average i would say i have like six seven k um if i don't see anything like more expensive than 2c on the first page i reroll that i don't take even the 2c from the first page if it's like two raw c on the first page unless i have like 12k favor or something i don't take that uh, to see i just reroll because you're very likely to get something that costs like 10c right and that's way 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 better if you do that five times it's already uh, less than five times in order to get the 10c item it's worth it so definitely reroll rerolling is very very good and definitely gonna make much more money than just trying to like grab like all the 2c things from the first tab and uh, uh, don't worry about the favor it's you're gonna get plenty of it uh, running your maps like this for sextants i'm running uh, anything that has monsters anything that adds monsters just the standard stuff that's what you always do like uh, maps contain additional packs of monsters so like four extra packs of monsters here we got six extra packs of monsters four extra packs of rare uh, monsters uh, with rare monsters and then six extra packs just like run these sextants that gives you extra packs except for the healing ones if you're playing my build because then the enduring flask becomes instant and then you're not getting the fortify because it's instantly healing you and the effect is just instant so you don't get the fortify 
So that's the only one that you don't want to run and everything else with monsters is great. Um, for the watchstones, since you're going to be running this region a lot, you can do the maven fights and you're going to get the watchstones and you can also buy them. They were also very cheap. I think I bought them right. Yeah, it's like 20c or something like that. And this adds um, like quantity. It's very easy to roll quantity on these for some reason. So I got like uh, 2% quant, 2% quant, 2% quant and here like increased effect of modifiers on the maps and chance to drop more uh, currency from magic monsters. So this is definitely something that I recommend doing eventually as you are farming these maven fights. Um, and this is something that you're going to be acquiring before you start like chaining burials because you have to do multiple different maps to do the maven, right? Uh, right now I'm just chaining burial uh, chambers. Uh, if you find, like, if you happen to find prophecies that use, uh, that have Tempest or Plague of Rats, you can use them. I've been using them because I'm gonna buy new ones when I just start using maps anyway. I wanted the currency now, so I wanted the returns now, so I just were, I was just using them. Uh, just a regular juicing of the maps, right? And this build that I didn't invest that much into it before the Headhunter, which is just for, for a completely different build anyway, was perfectly handling the one delirium to three delirium orb uh, maps. So that's what I was doing. This is how I made my headhunter. Uh, now I'm gonna be focusing on getting a little bit more currency, maybe like 20 to 40 X until I can uh, gear my occultist. And then we're gonna switch to occultist and we're gonna do the lock and load strategy with the Lex Ejoris where we load uh, the vessels and then use them in another region, which is gonna be the Glenna Cairns, but that's something for another video hopefully this has been helpful thank you guys for watching and see you next time also don't forget to check out my stream twitch.tv slash asmodeus stream see you next time